now shifting gears this dovetails with what the caller was just talking about uh, one of my reporters yesterday was out and saw people doing uh, overpass banner hangs uh, return the Constitution come and take it defend the Second Amendment uh, impeach Obama for NSA spying restore the Fourth Amendment and it turned out these were all over town and at the Capitol 10 20 30 people depending on which uh, spontaneous event it was and by spontaneous people just heard the call on Facebook all over the country uh, there were thousands in LA hundreds in other cities but thousands at one spot in Los Angeles there's gonna be more in the next few days and I was watching the nightly news last night from home a, a rebroadcast of it because it was restreaming and I saw Gigi Arnett's report that we're gonna get to secondarily where the people were so electric so alive why they were out there why they just heard the call to go and stand for the bill of rights the constitution america's in trouble and then i watched the next piece where leanne mcadoo went out and the majority of people she talked to in austin said i want to be spied on i want to have my have my rights taken so first we're going to get to uh, Leanne McAdoo's report and then compare that to the type of people that want freedom and, and, and if you're a radio listener you can hear how pathetic these people are it's very sad but to see them to see the weakness in their eyes and that they're scared and they go oh I like being spied on they know full well this is tyranny but they just think they're gonna appease it well when 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 Liberty fails the best men rot in filthy jails and those that cry to appease appease are hung by those they tried to please to quote an old Revolutionary War statement said by an unknown uh, person uh, let's go ahead and go to this first report surprise surprise it turns out the NSA has been using your information for a lot more than just fighting international terrorism has your wife ever cooked anything in a pressure cooker yes yes Yes. Um, I personally have not, but like I said, my mom is really into pressure cooker recipes. Is she a terrorist? No. No? <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> no, very, very much not a terrorist. At one time, the wife had looked up pressure cooker recipes, and at another time, her husband was looking up backpacks. They came to their house, the, the federal agents came to their house and started asking them a bunch of questions about being terrorists. Do you feel comfortable with the fact that your Google searches are being used in this way? Sure, I have nothing to hide. They can question me all they want. I'm sure it's an effort to keep us all safe and uh, uh, hopefully that was uh, cleared up pretty easily with a few good answers. If you don't have anything to hide, then you don't have it, and then you shouldn't be scared of then you shouldn't be scared of anything. No, I don't do no provocative searches anyway. So, how do you feel about the NSA um, logging all your Google searches and sometimes supplying that to local police? Good. You're good. You feel good about that? Yeah. You don't think that that's entrapment? Uh, it's bad. That entrapment is bad. Have you been drinking today? No. <laughs> So you're, you're comfortable with the NSA collecting your innocuous Google searches? I am. Everyone's okay with it. They're like, I like being spied on. It is cool. Honestly, we need to be safe. For the InfoWars Nightly News, I'm Leanne McAdoo. We need to be safe. Were they safe in Nazi Germany? Were they safe in Soviet Russia? Uh, no. Uh, are they using this data for corporate fraud? Are they using it to be able to con the people? Are they using it to be able to gouge uh, folks and manipulate the market? Absolutely. We're not safe because we have a tyrannical government. Historically, that's the most dangerous thing. Now, contrast that with Gigi's report here, uh, where she went out to the spontaneous rallies to impeach Obama that happened nationwide here in Austin and the people she talked to. Here's that report. I'm Gigi Arnetta reporting for InfoWars.com and InfoWars Nightly News. And we're standing here on an overpass at Maynard Drive in Austin, Texas, where people are honking for Obama's impeachment. So what gave you guys this idea? This is a national movement. Um, it was started by James Neighbors, who's up in Oklahoma. We now have, uh, we've got groups like this in all 50 states. And yeah, we're just out here trying to wear, raise people's awareness a little bit and get them... Uh, Woken up to what's going on with the Obama administration and trying to try to get him out of office. 
So you believe that these are definitely not phony scandals? Definitely not. They're, they're felonies, you know? And, and we elect these folks to govern us, but not to rule us. And we have a constitution to limit the federal government's power, and they're just shredding the constitution daily. I want to know how many people are out there that would like to be doing something. They get frustrated. They say, well, I'm going to do something tomorrow and I'm going to do something today, something that's going to count. You know, you got to get out of the, from behind the computer and go out and try to get some things done. We're, we're in a neighborhood where people actually told us, that, oh, no, you don't want to go out there. You know, there, there are too many people for Obama out there. But we're, <laughs> but we're getting a great response, and, and we're going to stay out here as long as we can. I'm going to be out here every chance I get. I took off work for this today. I mean, I'd take off work if I was sick or if I had a sick child. The Republic's sick. It needs help. That's what I'm here for. One group near Los Angeles has 1,780 people. 1,780 people. That's incredible. One group. And if you go to overpasses.org, you can find out more information about the event they're having August 17th. Get out and help. Help change what's happening to our Constitution. I'm Gigi Arnetta reporting for InfoWars.com and InfoWars Nightly News. I mean, I had Obama's senior, former head of a foreign operation for the Secret Service with thousands of people under him, on air saying, yeah, the president's involved with Al-Qaeda. Yeah, it's staged. I think these are fake terror alerts. He even said more off air. Because it's the truth, ladies and gentlemen. My dad is named David R. Jones, and his father was named uh, Jerry, Jerry uh, R. Jones, and then he had a dad named Dad Ross was the nickname. I don't even know my great grandfather's name. I should know that on that side of the family. I know it was Dad Ross. I mean, I, 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 I didn't. I thought. I thought. I didn't know Obama. I thought my mother was was uh, Carol Jones. I, I didn't know that my mother was 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 was. Michelle Obama, but I guess I go to restaurants now and there's little cards about she's telling me what to eat and kids, my kids were going to private school and, and it was curriculum from her as well because it was accredited. I mean, it, so I guess they're full-time homeschool now. You just can't get away from our mama and our daddy. Uh, let's go to uh, our reporters here. Leanne McAdoo, your report first, and we're going to play a few that disagreed tonight, but they were the vast minority. I'm told what out of the 10 people you talked to, two said, no, we have uh, rights. Uh, I mean, my God, do, do these people, don't they understand that North Korea is like this? Exactly. I was shocked. They were literally zombies out there. And they were like, we, we got to be safe. We need to be safe. And I said, well, don't you feel like that's an invasion of your privacy? Don't you feel like that's entrapment? Well, we got to be safe. And Obama himself said, you know, you're, you're not, you're not going to get hit by a terrorist more than a car accident. But we don't have a domestic spying program. You know, and that's what they don't. Well, well uh, Miss Alabama's like it's so dangerous now. What honeybees that kill two hundred and something people? Terrorists less than a hundred. What it's so <laughs> dangerous with guns? Gun crimes down sixty one percent. Oh, it's so no. They create the perception like a child thinking a boogeyman's under the table because the babysitter shows him Halloween. It ain't real, folks. Exactly. The threats the government. Exactly. And I asked the older gentleman who said, you know, his wife cooks with pressure cooker all the time and I said well you'd be okay if they came and kicked down your door like they did with this family You're like, yes mm -hmm. he said well you know I'm sure we could get it all solved with a you know just by answering a few of their questions yeah let them come in with a SWAT team yeah <laughs> Gigi uh, contrasting that with the great people you saw out there in, in the 106 degree heat one guy for 17 hours who had a medical condition I'm told sheeple come out <laughs> that's what it was like it was amazing people came out and as I was leaving People were actually showing up that you knew just by, you could tell they were like, well, should I be out here? And they, but they came out anyway. And we were up on an overpass where you had to go quite a ways up as a pedestrian overpass to get there. And you could just see the intensity. And the people that I interviewed were so passionate about being there and they were encouraging and telling people, you know, it's just not about- They're alive. Yeah, they're alive. It made me more alive. It was 104 and I came in and I was ready to do it again. And that's what they were I saying. I think they said 106 yesterday. Yeah, it was hot <laughs> but and windy, but it was great because as we were doing the interview and there's more to it, where we were standing there, people were honking their horns. People were driving by and honking in the middle of the interviews. They were just, you know, they had signs that said, impeach Obama, get your, and I'm not gonna say the word, but it had donkey out of the White House. Uh, you know, don't spy on me. They had all these signs all down the, the overpass, all the way across the overpass. It was pretty intense. It was pretty intense. Well, uh, just the contrast between the two people. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah.
I mean, that's why I wanted to get you guys in here today. Is it was the contrast on the nightly news of these two different groups of people, and then you see the the the, the folks out in California when Mark dies. But we've also been out there to interview people. If you say for Obama, we're going to put everybody that owns guns in a concentration camp for Obama. <laughs> We're going to uh, kill Jews for Obama. They'll they'll say anything. It was for Obama. What do you that? I mean, that's like mind control. Well, absolutely. And and the weird thing is, I've been out to some of these zombies before on other reports, and it really it it makes me nervous because it's like they're in a trance mm -hmm. on some kind of medication. They're not all there. And then when I went out to this, I didn't know what to expect. But the people were alive. It made me right. excited. They were like, we need to defend the Constitution. We're standing up. And they had I don't know if you saw, but they had um, armbands. And without, you know, looking at it, you think, well, hmm, could, you know, reminded me of something weird. So I asked, but it was for SEAL Team 6 that they were wearing armbands because I felt like. Oh, it's good to bring that out that they clearly killed them, yeah. And right. they want to stay. Well, what do the SEALs think? They're not going to be sent on a fake Bin Laden raid and not be killed. Mm -mm. I mean, they're going to get rid of you. Right. <laughs> you right. can't be part of this and not be killed. But that's part of the phony scandal. You know, that's what Obama. Oh, Jay Carney said so. <laughs> Who's a known admitted liar. <laughs> well, that's know. why they're so scared of of the people that are awake and alive and who are trying to rally together and make some changes. They want to, they, they like the zombies. Well, I've thrown a lot of points out here. Great job on the reports and with the nightly news crew. There's going to be more tonight, I, but I want to send you guys back out, both of you now, and Jakari and everybody else uh, out there to then challenge them. I'm going to write some questions up and then say, so you support what they did in Soviet Russia and Nazi Germany. Mm -hmm. Why was it different there? Okay, well, this is illegal. Uh, Obama says they're not doing it, but they are, and, and, and really challenge them. I want to just say, what's wrong with you to these people? Ask them to bring the truth, the truth. Well, I mean, I, I mean, I would ask them, why do you seem so glaze-eyed? <laughs> okay, you, you know, what's I'll gladly do that. <laughs> now, 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 the one older guy, you could tell he was scared, just wanting to comply. Like, I'll do whatever you say. You know, I think, uh, you know, the uh, Fuhrer is good. I mean, I mean, it's basically that attitude of, I'll do whatever I'm told, just leave me alone. Right, kick my door down. Don't they get the tyrants want to dominate you and take your wealth? The fact that you lay down to them, that's what makes them run over you. Well, they don't understand that. But they are going to do this again on the 17th of August, all across the United States. So if they go to overpasses.org... They can find out more about Yeah, we should get the director of that on, and, and we should watch things like this as well. I mean, th this is what it's all about. And, and, and will this one operation save us? No, but everything together, the resistance will. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show.